we are very very fortunate to have with us uh, Politburo member and senior uh, Congress Party of India Marxist leader Nilotpat Basu ji. Uh, Comrade, we want to talk to you particularly about Bengal because Bengal is much in the news. Bengal is very critical this election. We know the results tomorrow, and uh, you have been very very you are closely associated with what's happening there. Can you just give us a picture, the country a picture about what's happening in Bengal right? You see, uh, it is very very unfortunate that we have to see this day in Bengal. Uh, what we have been uh, shouting loudly for the last uh, eight years of the TMC government, mm, uh, because uh, visibly BJP has made some inroads. I mean, uh, it would be uh, wrong if we continue to be in the denial mode. But uh, at the same time, it's uh, necessary to understand the prognosis as to how this has happened. Now, I will not go uh, uh, in detail about the uh, background of Bengal as we are aware that Bengal along with Punjab was the uh, victim of partition. And Bihar. Uh, yeah, Bihar partially, but uh, in the main Bengal and Punjab. But Bengal, what happened that uh, the entire movement for rehabilitation of the, uh, of the, of the uh, refugees uh, was an area where the left had intervened and therefore uh, that uh, despite Shama Prasad Mukherjee leading their effort and all that, they could not make much inroads. And uh, the fact that the left was very proactive, proactive and, the and also party. and very strongly pro uh, uh, harmony and, and pro amity. Therefore, in the Bengal United Front, uh, anti-Congress United Front, they never accommodated the Muslim League or the Hindu Mahasabha. Uh, you see, the uh, United Front, which evolved into the Left Front subsequently, never contained any communal, uh, communal, communal outfit. Uh, but uh, this change started taking place from the end of the uh, century when um, TMC was midwifed by the RSS and uh, it is uh, from the first time uh, TMC as TMC for the election, they were in company with BJP. And even through the days of the Gujarat uh, genocide, they continued till 2006. Uh, but uh, there was a complicit relation between the BJP and the TMC. So, whereas uh, TMC was as a result of the 34 years of rule and anti-incumbency, uh, the main target was the left. So, after the 2011 elections, what happened? This onslaught continued. This is an outright authoritarian onslaught. And uh, as we know that in a situation of authoritarian onslaught and specific targeting of the left, uh, you create objective ground for the uh, entry and uh, resurgence of the right wing. And that is precisely what has happened. Apart from the other ideological factors, the specific factors which helped B BJP because uh, TMC was vulnerable because of their involvement in certain financial scams mm -hmm. which the left was fighting and along with Mr. Mukul Roy is with the BJP. Yeah, that is that is very interesting that about four to five candidates in this election BJP were till the other day with the TMC. Uh, but in such a situation and this bizarre explanation by even a section of the so-called uh, liberal media on the, on the cyber uh, space saying that it is the left which has been instrumental for the BJP growth. What has happened to see that this election, unfortunately because of this eight years experience and uh, the denial of democratic rights became an antique incumbency election for the teams. And uh, BJP with its massive financial resources, its uh, presence in the cyber space, their IT cell and all that, uh, where we were not able to physically reach, they tried to fill that void. But still we don't think that the projection that is there, uh, BJP will do that well, but definitely they have made their presence 
uh, felt and uh, this could be easily avoided had TMC's position is as is being projected by the media and particularly this uh, liberal media. I mean, uh, it could have been easily done, uh, they could have been stopped. And uh, as a result of this anti-incumbency discourse uh, about TMC, the uh, role of the uh, Modi government, its uh, impact on livelihood and uh, attack on the yeah, all, all those things uh, did not figure in the electoral discourse. Uh, as much as it was needed to really stave off this uh, BJP uh, challenge. So, but left uh, has, has tried to fight back as much as possible. Unfortunately, uh, our appeal to the Congress was also to avoid a mutual contest and uh, to have some kind of a loose uh, seat uh, understanding. Uh, unfortunately, Congress, for whatever reasons, I will not go into that, uh, they, they uh, chose to stay away from that arrangement. And that also disproportionately helped BJP because it was a question of uh, a, a secular uh, alternative platform uh, to this uh, misrule in Bengal yeah. and at the same time politically ranged against the uh, BJP's uh, uh, onslaught against the people. So, therefore, we keep our fingers pressed, but uh, I don't think that because of the ingrained uh, uh, secular instinct of uh, the, the people of Bengal, uh, some uh, resistance will definitely be there, but the situation definitely does not look uh, as good as Bengal is uh, potent to uh, sort of. That one side of that Amit Shah possession in Kolkata, Ram Naomi, Hanuman, frightening, you know, through the entire aggression, it was not religious at all, it was very aggressively communal, very, very uh, uh, inherently violent, etc. Usta, I, I, mean, I think uh, you have the record to speak most authoritatively about Hindu communalism. Hindu communalism was never about Hinduism, it has always been about uh, uh, politics and See, Ram legend, yeah. uh, as, uh, so to say, was was never uh, uh, in its uh, North Indian avatar in yeah. uh, in Bengal. You see, our tradition has was defined uh, no less than Tagore himself, who mm -hmm. said that Ram lives or Ram was born where the poet imagines him to be. Exactly. Uh, that yeah. was his uh, description. And therefore, in the last century itself, Michael Madhusudan Dotto could write uh, Meghnath Bad Kabbo, mm -hmm. where Rabin is the hero. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I think today, I'm sure he would be dubbed an anti-national. But uh, those were the kind of debates that we had. And uh, the, the Bengal Hindu religious practice was largely occupied by local, tribal, culture and all that. This uh, uh, homogeneous straight jacket of Hindutva uh, has no traditions in Bengal. Bengal has been very uh, fiercely diverse, composite and syncretic. Even Islam, you see, the Islamic practices in Bengal, unlike other areas, uh, Bengal's uh, Islamic practices uh, have uh, not the Arabic roots. No. It is essentially uh, Sufi, Sufi and Sahodia and uh, Baul traditions. And uh, you see, they got uh, mutually influenced by the Bhukti movement of Chaitanya. Yeah. Uh, he had many Muslim followers. So, yes. therefore, I mean, we had the traditions. but. Because of the big money involved of organized religion and, and uh, use of religion as uh, uh, politics, uh, I mean, it's a much later day uh, avatar in the background of globalization and neoliberal policies, yeah. and uh, which has been uh, ably assisted by a, 
uh, uh, rank uh, uh, political opportunist uh, by by uh, led, uh, who leads the teams. Therefore, we are in this mess. But the left will fight back in Bengal. And Definitely, I mean, this is a passing phase. I am I am telling you because Bengal results, you will find that there will be signs of. Uh, anti incumbency about TMC uh, prevailing over the main uh, uh, pattern of voters' choice. Uh, but uh, therefore, uh, substantial questions are there, uh, was there, uh, about the uh, role and, and um, by the crusade against the people by the Modi government. But all those could not be effectively brought forward. And the mainstream media also kept on harping about Modi versus Mamta, yeah. BJP versus, uh, versus TMC, a binary. I mean, that there were other voices and uh, awesome. other serious concerns. Uh, those were uh, submerged in the cacophony of this binary narrative. On the eve of the exit polls, are you hopeful? We are hopeful. We will definitely be there. I mean, uh, uh, but but uh, there has been so much of cross current and all that. Uh, in case of Bengal, it's very difficult to precisely say uh, what happens. But overall, as a, a party and as left, we are very confident that uh, Modi government cannot come back to office. Thank you so much.